Hello, people of the internet, and welcome. Oh god, mouse control. Mouse control in F5. Does not do. Does not do. Right, welcome to a little world I've been playing on. Here's my little house. Look at it. It's kind of cute, don't you think? Uh, the idea of this little series I'm going to be doing is that we're going to be looking at the witchery mod. Now, I've played with it somewhat, and I haven't gone mega deeps. I've gone some deeps, but not too deeps. And I thought, why don't we learn together? You know, let's let's bring a community into this thing. So, what we are doing is literally playing through the witchery mod. It's going to be a bit of a tutorial. It's going to be a bit of funs. It's going to be a bit of whoopsies. But... It will be together as one. Right, now, so let me just show you. Oh god, that's not what I want. That's the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> ah, me F1. I will figure this out eventually. Ah! Oh, I've pressed F3. As you can tell, my fingers are not with it today. So, what I've been doing up until this point is literally just standard vanilla things, just to get ready to go through the witchery with you. So I'll just go through, obviously I've got myself a little farm, I've got some carrots, potatoes, got some wheat, got some sugar corn. Um, made myself just a little bit of a cow farm over here for, you know, obviously, the leathers, the foods. Got us oh, I've got some eggs. Give me that egg. I've got so many eggs, to be fair. Have another chicken. Right, we've got this lone cow, which has been there from the start. She will stay there forever now. I've even caught a name tag through fishing. So, Let's just have a look. I built this little house. It's just going to be got myself a little chairs and chairs, tables and chairs, just so I can I can sit here and ponder, look out over the balcony, enjoy my world, and I can fuck off into my house. So th I made this clock because I thought that looks awesome, but it ticks and it's annoying. Got my little bedroom, little little bit of space. Right, you might see there are obviously some other mods, but the other mods are literally just visual. What the fuck is that noise? There's a slime. Where the heck is this guy? Where is he? He's up here. Is he up here? A little guy. Where is he? I had no idea that slimes were spawning around here. Is he is he in my little cave? He's fucking there! What are you doing? Is he literally come from all the way downstairs? Oh, well, that's some easy slime balls for me. If this is a slime chunk, that's awesome. Did you see I've made like a little bit of a strip mine thingy going off down here. I've got my nether portal. I've only had a quick look in. And, uh, just to see. And we're so lucky. Honestly, this spawn, if I just have a look. So you can see, I've not really gone very far. You can see we've got a village. Oh god, hello. Zoomage. We've got an epic village over here. I popped in just to have a look. I haven't actually had a look because I can see there's two blacksmiths here. See, the witchery villages that spawn are amazing because, like, they're epically huge. And, like, you get a chance of two blacksmiths. That's awesome. We've got this little hobgoblin hut over here, which is obviously another witchery world generation. I haven't looked around enough to see if I can find... Oh, that looks like one of the other witchery world generations. Got the structure. We look like we've got another hobgoblin over there. We'll need to go and have a wander because there's one more which I'm interested in finding. So you can see I haven't gone too far uh, in regards to exploring. Um, but I've, I've just got so many things I need to say so we can get into this. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've been mining. I've got all these goodies. I'm going to put them, not them, them. And put them in there. So, just been doing pretty standard vanilla stuff. I'll do a quick run through of what mods we've got in here. Obviously, we've got Bibliocraft. We have got Carpenter's Blocks. We've got uh, Whaler. Obviously, you can see that in the uh, top corner. We've also got Witchery, obviously. Um, I've added fast craft as well, just to kind of help me along a bit. Obviously, the computer has a bit of a shit fit sometimes, and it's like, ugh, stop it. But, so, the mods that I've added, they're pretty much just kind of visual or information kind of 
mods, they're not game changing whatsoever. Spent a bit of time fishing, and ended up with so many just like fish, fishing rods. Got some cool, like looting too, that's awesome. We've got power three, uh, smite four, which will be pretty awesome because we will have to fight the wither, we do need nether stars. So we've got that, eggs, you know, standard kind of farming stuff. Uh, resources, this is just random tools. We've got some of these, that was like fishing. Uh, that was fishing. I made that. That was in a dungeon chest. So I've found, if you may have seen on the uh, the minimap, I have found a couple of spawners, which are going to be pretty useful. This is just mob drops, just random blocks and stuff. And my wood chest! We're going to need a lot of saplings, so that's why I've been out going mad with the saplings. So, I think the first thing we're really going to do is... I'm going to tell you a bit about witchery. Witchcraft is a mod that adds... Which is, but it's it's I like the twist on it because it's not like like Thorncraft is like that's more kind of wizardry and like wands and like just powerful just random ass shit like casting spells and stuff, whereas this is kind of a bit more kind of Macbeth which is kind of styly, with the whole kind of cauldron bubble and toil and trouble and toe of frogs and eye of newt and shell of snail you know all that kind of random ass shit. And it's just some of the mechanics of it is awesome. I mean, you could do some epic things like we can we can summon a demon and we can do trades with a demon. We can spawn familiars and we can give them diamonds and they'll go and find diamonds for us. Mm -hmm. We can go into another dimension, which is scary as hell the first couple of times, but it, you can make it a bit better for yourself. It is, it is a pain in the ass world, but I think that's what's going to be interesting because the spirit world is unique in the sense that you can't take any items in there with you, bar a few witchery ones, but nothing to help you actually progress, and there are some things that you can only do in the witchery world. Right, so I've been babbling on a bit, so let's actually get started with the witchery. Right, let's, let's go outside. I think the main things you're going to want to do to get started is you're going to want to break some leaves. Leaves? You're going to want to break some grass. And, uh, yeah, okay, you'll get your standard kind of seeds. Oh, I better put my armor back on. I took it off so you could see my sexy body. Um, and you will get some new seeds. Ah, here's one. Uh, Mandrake is one of them. Belladonna is the next one. There is also Snowbell, Water Artichoke, uh, Garlic. Can I pick up Garlic? I think I can. I think I have. Um... Wolfsbane is another one. There's a few more plants that witchery adds that you cannot get this way. And it's going night time already. Fantastic. So what I've been doing is I have already collected some... This is my witchery chest. Ta -da! So I have already been collecting some of these goodies. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant them. Because I think what's going to help us in the first off kind of bit is the witchery... Books. Now, all the sections of witchery come with their own little books. So if we... Oh, there we go. We've got Book of Biomes, Symbology. That's a bit more kind of late game. Uh, Conjuration of Fetishes, again, a bit more late game. Why did you start me on page two? Who does that? But the one book that we're going to want first off is the Herbology book, but I can't find the bloody bugger. Where are you? Oh, there he is. So we're going to need a puppy, a flower, an ink sack, and a feather. Now, luckily, I've been collecting most of these. Don't tell me I haven't got a pup here. But we've got all these. No, I just... Oh, trust it. I need just one more piece of paper. I love being able to look out my window and there. There she is. We need to give her a name. I have got a name tag, so we can give her a name. Right, so let's go off and just see if we can quickly find a puppy. There should be loads around here. I'm sure I've seen a, a couple of hundred around here. Ah, there we go. What did I just pick up? Another egg. Eggs. I think the way I'm going to do this as well, because I do notice that I just ramble on a lot, so they might be a bit more choppy than usual, because I kind of want to keep them a bit more kind of compact and a bit more kind of helpful than what I usually do. So it might be a bit choppy, but let's go through this, the Herbology book. Many common plants are used in the preparation of brews and magics. This book details those rare or exceptional plants not known to the common folk. Oh Already we're above average. So obviously the belladonna, ember moss, oh that's, that, that's a different one. So the belladonna, the mandrake, the snowbell, the uh, 
the water artichoke, the wool spain, the garlic are ones that we can get straight away. Now things like Spanish moss and things like glintweed, the ember moss, uh, different kind of saplings. Where are they? The elder sapling, hawthorn, and rowan. Rowan is probably going to be the most important one early game. We need mutandis. Now, for mutand, did that just go incredibly loud? Right, that's going to go first book on our shelf. Yeah, yeah. Mutandis is going to be created very soon, hopefully. We want to get to farming. Where's me hook? Oh. Ah, there it is. There it is. Uh, Banner dollar, probably water or choke, snowball and mandrake. They're probably the more important ones at the minute. So let's just go and make a lovely little farm. Right, this is going to be like vanilla. So we've got a little area over here where we can probably set some things up. But the water. Oh, this makes an awesome little patch here that we can use because water artichoke requires to be placed on water. So we can leave those bad boys there. We're going to want some snowbell seeds put down. And I'll go through what each of them produces in a short while. Let's just get them all down so you can have a look at them, have a bit of a glance. If my fingers would work, this would be a lot faster. I'm just going to, so I don't have to jump down and bloody smash me plants. Nobody wants to smash their plants in, do they? Let's just get all this down. And I will plant the others as well. The garlic and the wall spain. Because I want to take the wall spain over to the little village that we found. Oh, garlic. I fucking love garlic. Right, the, let's go get some bone meal. Alright, so let's, let's have a look at each of these. Right. So, garlic. There you go. <laughs> Wolfsbane. I'll, I'll give it a smack so you can see. The garlic just literally looks like its own thing. So, I mean, let's actually plant another one of those. Like, you know, our potatoes. You just plant a potato. Wolfsbane. Oh, triple seedage. Right, these are going to be a bit more kind of late game. But I do want to take some Wolfsbane over to the village. Right, Wolfsbane is more to do with becoming a werewolf side of things. And then we've got garlic where you've got more being a vampire side of things. So, yes, you can be a vampire or a werewolf. I think you can actually be both at the same time if you really want to. But it'll probably be a ball egg. Right, we've got the Snowbell. We've got the Mandrake. We've got the Belladonna. And we've got the water artichoke. Right, the better donna, what are you gonna give me? You give me a lovely little flower. They're pretty important, this kind of this kind of stage, because but well, they're pretty important because they're used for most of the books. Obviously I'll pick a book that hasn't got one. Okay, three books in a row with no belladonna in it. Wonderful. Oh there we go. Oh there we go. There you go. Standard standard belladonna. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the, the water artichoke. There you go, we get a globe. The water artichoke globe. I uh, don't want to plant that. Where's my water out of choke seeds? Ah, I've been robbed. There they are. Uh, the snowbell. Hey, it'll obviously give you a snowball. They're, they can be coming in useful to make the snow blocks. And this icy needle, again, something that's going to become very useful a bit later on. Obviously, this is very early game. This is just how to get started. Oh, this bloody thing. Right. It's going to happen. But now that I've said it's going to happen, it probably won't. Sword of the Ready. Yep, there he is. Right, we've got this dude. Obviously a mandrake that spawns from the mandrake seeds. Right, it makes you very nauseous. And it's horrible. But the dude just runs around manic like a little bloody crazy ass thing on speed. Give it a whack. Just kill it. And it shrieks, obviously. It's not dead! There we go. And then it will actually drop the root. And, oh god, that nauseation. It's a bit crazy. But yeah. If you... Look at these at night. Oh, it's a tree. I thought there was a spider there then. If you do these at night, harvest them at night, you're less likely to get a mandrake. I'm not too sure about the numbers or anything, but it, it's quite useful. Right, you know, there is a noticeable difference. Right, so let's put all these back in here. Right, so probably the first thing we're going to want to do then is we're going to want to make a cauldron so we can make the mutantis. Mutandis. Which one am I missing? So we can make the mutandis. Now, to make a cauldron, 
You just make a regular Minecraft cauldron. Here we are. Set it down. Oh, this is all half slab, so it's just floating. Now, if you take four of the, the main kind of seeds that you get, so you've got the water artichoke, the snowbell, the belladonna, and the mandrake, you'll get this anointing paste. Now, just give it a slap. Boom! There we go. It turns into a witchery cauldron. I'm very sexy. You can you can break it, pick it up. It's fine. It's not going to de like devolve, de evolve. I'm not sure on the wording of that. There you go. Basically, you break it. It's fine. I'm going to want some netherrack, and we're going to want to take this away from our house. So I think for now, I will set up probably in between episodes a little area probably around here. Like we'll have like an actual shack or something where all the uh, mechanical sh machinery stuff is going to go. Right, if I just have a, a bit of a, a bracket down here. Why did I do that? Noob. <laughs> right. Put that down. And we're going to just fill it up. Three buckets and it's full. And that that's it. And you'll see it'll start bubbling and that means it's ready. It doesn't hurt you or anything. So you can stand on it if you want to drop things in like straight down. But the hitbox on it is pretty good. Right, so what do we want from you, Tandis? We want a mandrake room, exhale of the horned one, and an egg. So that brings us on to... What's the word? The witch's oven. That brings us on to the witch's oven. So this is kind of why I did go and do a lot of resource kind of collecting. Because this witch's oven can start getting expensive. So if we grab all this iron, because I'm sure we're going to need it. <clears throat> and we're going to need some of these as well. Right. To start off then, to make a witch's oven, is it something like that? Or have I got it wrong? Oh, I've got it wrong. Right, okay, let's <laughs> let's actually look it up. Where is this little bugger? That is... Oh, there we go. I knew what I was trying to do. Gives us a witch's oven. Right, now, it has got a small chance of giving... Right, exile of the horn one. So, we, it can be used as a normal furnace. So, when you cook an oak sapling, you will get wood ash. But in a witch's oven, it gives you the added kind of advantage that you may get one of these... The chance is quite low, but you can increase it with a fume funnel. Now this is a bit more expensive, as you can see. That's why I went and got a lot of resources. I forgot about the glowstone, so I will be right back with that. Right, and we're back. I managed to go and get the glowstone. I just need to make loads of buckets. I think it's like eight buckets. Right, take, take one of them. Wow. And we've just seen my iron go from like two full stacks to one. We have got some more in there. I might actually get a bit of that cooking up. I think there's already coal in these. Yeah, just get a bit more cooking up ready for when we're going to need it. Because we're going to need it. I don't think you actually get the buckets back either. Uh, of course, the shift click doesn't work. I'm going to want two of these. Four of these. So, as you can see, it does get very expensive very quickly. Right, I think you will get the lava bucket back, but that's the only one you'll get back. Yep. So you get two of these. Right, you can make three. Let's just go and put it down in the world. And I'll show you what it does, what it looks like. So, obviously, the witch's oven, I think the textures on the witch's oven and the fume funnels look amazing. Right, the way it connects and shit looks very really cool. So you can have a total of three added on to this. Um, you can have two on the sides. They will actually increase the chances of getting these... Um, one on the top will increase the speed. So, I'd say at this point, definitely make one. Because it's just having the saplings, the amount of saplings you're going to need to make a fair bit of these. Because you do use a lot of them. So, you're going to want at least one, if not two. You can make the third one if you want. But I'd say definitely make at least one. And these can be upgraded further with the filtered fume funnel, but you need one of these and you need a charge to tune stone, which is going to be a bit further on, because I think you have to do that with the circle magic. So, right now, what do we do with this then? Right, first off you need a lot of clay, because you're going to need a lot of these clay jars, because they're used for the oven and they're also used for the distillery. So, you do need quite a few of them. Now, I have gone 
have got a load of clay already ready so we can just make these straight away. So 64 clay balls will give you 64 clay jars in this configuration. Obviously, pull them out and cook them. And it will slowly start giving you the clay jars here. Now, you start want to start burning up things like we've collected a lot of these already to start burning things up. So, so I've got a stack of each. These three ones here will give you a particular type. Like we've got the oak sapling, which will give you exhaled horned one. The birch, I think, is the is it breath of the goddess? Yeah, it is. And then we've got the spruce, which is hint of rebirth. Yes, it is. Right. So the three vanilla trees will give you three of these fumes. Now we've also got three witchery trees, which will give you another three fumes. So these three here, I believe. So we've got the Rowan, we've got the Alder, and we've got the Hawthorn. Now obviously to get these we need the Mutandis, this is why we are slowly on this journey, because we need to burn up some of these bad boys. We're going to need some cool. So the Witch's Oven can just run off coal, normal kind of fuel, furnace fuel. And if we just put them in there, put them in there, put five in there to make sure not to waste any. Actually, if we can quickly go and go and get some some more clay jars, just so it's a, a nice even egg. <laughs> I don't like waste. I will get to a point where I'm not bothered, but early on, you know what it's like. So just put them in there. You know we don't want. How many is it done? See, as you can see, we've got these on. We've actually got four for four now. So that just needs four. So it increases the chance. By this point, we'd probably only have one. As you can see there, we did actually miss one. But we're going to want that. We're going to want our mandrake root. We're probably going to want a couple more, actually. God damn mandrakes. We're going to want a couple. Alright, so let's just give them all a quick smash. Get out of my way. Did, did we literally just get four mandrakes from that? We did. Oh god, this is madness. Ah! <laughs> We can actually make earmuffs as well to stop the effects negativity of these little buggers. Oh, there we go, mandrakes. Let's give them here. We've still got two alive. Yeah. Die. No. No. Motherfucker broke my thing. That's why I take it away. Oh, it's always a good idea to kind of move away as well because you, you will just start smacking the shit out of everything. So, there we go. We've got some wood ash. Wood ash is pretty useful as well, so... Let's go and get some eggs, and we can start making mutandis. Now you want to throw this into the witch's cauldron to get six mutandis. Be aware to throw it in order. If you don't throw it in order, I think it will not let you at some points. Like if I try and chuck an egg in first, it's it's not going to have it. I'll try and chuck that in. Oh shit, it took that. Right, okay. Well... <laughs> I think, is it wood ash? Or is it quick lime? Whoa, what happened then? <laughs> Literally just chucking quick lime. <laughs> I had no idea you could do that. There we go. Look, this is the point. We learn together. I wonder if that actually has any damage. I've got no idea what the function of that is, if I'm honest. But I thought there was something I could throw at it, and it would empty. Uh, apparently not. Okay then, in that case, I'm just gonna give it a smack. Just to empty it. <laughs> I only want one bucket for now. Right, try again. Right, so obviously, if you throw it in the wrong order, it will start to mess up. That was the point, and I just completely messed that up. Right, so, mandrake root, exile of the horned one, and an egg. And you'll start to see it do some crazy spinny particles. That means it's working. So that's always a good thing. Come on, come on, you can do this. Way and there we go. We've got our first, first six mutandis. Now I'm going to do this a couple more times, and I'll be right back. Right, we're back, and I've got 24 mutandis. Now I'm going to give you a preview. Well, I'm not going to give you a preview. I'm just going to tell you. I'm going to show you what it does. I'm going to take this single piece of grass. 
and I'm going to click on it with the mutandis. Now, I bet you can guess that mutandis is a similar word to mutate. So, that's literally what it does. It's going to mutate things into other kind of growth things. Oh, there we go, Spanish moss. This can only be broken by shears, so be careful because it's quite a hard one to get sometimes. And we've got saplings, a dandelion. Now, you can't get all of the witchery flowers this way. But you can get the ones to set you on the way. We've got an alder sapling there, lovely. It's one of the three trees that we need. Mushroom, another glintweed. It's, you know, it is quite hard sometimes to get what you want. It's just random. So you've just got to pray to those RNG gods that they're going to be kind. Hawthorn, we've already got Hawthorn. It's rowing I'm after now. A lily pad. Some more Spanish moss, jungle, we haven't actually got, a, I'm going to, do I, or do I just search the world? Stop being lazy, just search the world. Rowan, way, it's a good job I decided not to be lazy. So these are the three trees, we're going to get on these, we're going to grow them. I'm just going to see if we can get one of the other plants, ah there it is, ember moss. Again, we do need the shears to break this, but this, these two will spread, I think glintwood spreads like, well, like a weed. So you want to be careful placing them in the world. And the ember moss, if you put it down, it will set you on fire. But it makes a cool little sound. So they're pretty cool to have. They do spread as well. I don't think to the same extent as glint weed. But it's useful to know. So if you need some, it's good to kind of make yourself a bit of a backup. Right. I think that's probably going to do for this episode. It's been a pretty basic episode. But... These are the kind of things you need to kind of get started with witchery. Now, what I'm going to do between episodes is I'm going to make myself a nice little area where I'm going to put all of these kind of things. And we're going to start naturing the place up. Just because this is a mod that runs completely off nature. Nature is love. It is life right now. It is so important to us. I'm going to plant these trees. I'm going to get a few of the extra kind of saplings, some wood. Some of them drop a couple of bits extra. And in the next episode, we will come back and I'll sh go through a bit more with you. And we can learn together. I'm going to find out what the hell that quicklime does. I don't know what the point of chucking it is. Let's, let's see. Hang on. Let's, let's quickly check if we can uh, chuck it on a cow or something. Let's see what happens. Give me that quicklime. Is it going to create damage, or is it just going to... I don't know what it's going to do. I'm going to harvest these, though, because I'm running out of sugar cane. Sugar cane. Right, so, cow. Oh, it's done something to him. He's got black particles coming off him. And it's gone. I, I can't tell which cow it was. Did that wither him? I cannot tell. Well... There you go. You learn something new every day. But that's the point of this mod. It's the point of this Let's Play. It's to learn. Right. So, welcome to the new series. And I will see you again next episode, hopefully. Uh, bye bye